you want to watch HBO Go or HBO Now outside the US, then I'm going to show you how this works. And I'm going to show you with the example of HBO Go. So let's go to the website and as you can see, to access HBO Go, you must reside within the 50 states of the United States of America. So basically I cannot see anything. And this is because if I check my IP address, and there are some websites showing where I'm logged in to the internet. You can see I'm somewhere in Europe. So basically I cannot watch HBO Go now. But of course there is a solution. You can use a virtual private network. Actually this is the same technology companies use to log in their home office workers to the company network. But in this case, this allows me to access the internet completely encrypted and anonymously in any place on the planet. Well, not any place, but in very, very many. Actually, I just checked out the CBC online stream. Sometimes I check the BBC iPlayer, but now we want to w watch HBO, right? So let's choose a location in the United States and you can just go with New York or if, if this somehow doesn't work, you have many other options. Let's take Denver. You see it's connecting. Now we're connected, we can check our IP again. So I reload this page. Now you can see, now I'm actually somewhere in New Jersey, which, well, is not what I chose, but it's still in the United States. And let's reload this page. See, now I'm reloading the page. And as you can see, now it works. Wow. Now we can watch some stuff. And let's try this. So this video is only available to HBO subscribers. So you might want to get a subscription. And uh, if you have problems with the payment methods, you could search for online prepaid credit card or maybe I will add this in the description but you, as you can see if you have a subscription you could just watch these videos but in general it works and I will also add a list of good VPN providers down in the description so just go down click on show more or if you're using a mobile device, you can click on this arrow down button and I would appreciate if you use my link if you decide on getting a VPN just for showing you I, I get a small commission you just have to install the software choose where you want to enter the internet and watch your favorite streaming media from anywhere in the world it also works with Pandora it works with uh, Netflix many other TV stations BBC iPlayer in the UK and so on so you can get your popcorn and watch whatever you like now you probably ask yourself isn't there a free version? And of course, there are services which claim to be free, but they only claim to be free, of course. They somehow have to make money, right? So sometimes the services are broken or don't work with the services you want to use. So maybe it will not work with HBO or Netflix and Pandora. Actually, there are only a few VPN providers that still work with Netflix and Hulu. Often free is slow. And there also have been several cases where you got some viruses, hackers, and a lot of spam when you used free services. And I'm going to explain to you why it costs something to have a good VPN provider. First of all, they have to provide good software for all kind of devices. And this is not an easy feat because you have to deal with different systems like Windows, Mac, iOS and Android and they have to test the software and keep it up to date for all these different devices. And the good thing is for ExpressVPN they also have software for routers. So you can set up your router if you're long term outside the US. So you always enter the internet in the US and you can use all the US media sites. As you know, high-speed internet costs something, especially those VPN providers offer high-speed entrance into the internet in many, many countries. And as you've seen in the United States, ExpressVPN offers a lot of login points. Of course, this cannot be free. The company somehow has to make some money with this. So my choice is ExpressVPN. 
especially because the software is so easy to use and reliable. I tested a few other VPN providers and had some problems with their software. Another nice thing is that ExpressVPN offers you three simultaneous connections. So if you use the desktop PC, smartphone and tablet, for example, at the same time, somehow it's no problem. The best choice is the 12 month plan. Of course, you save $55 and you have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you test it and somehow you notice that it's not working, well, actually it's, well, I'm quite sure it's working, but if you notice that you don't watch HBO so much, then yeah, you can make use of the 30 day money back guarantee and just get your money back and stop using the VPN. But I will keep an updated list of good VPNs down in the description. I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up if you like this video or leave a comment if you have questions. And I hope now you can watch HBO Go and HBO Now again outside the US.